be able to make this much safer, uh, and and uh, uh, both to humans, the environment, uh, and, and to the economy. We have about 15 minutes left with our guests. Let's get back to those calls. Baltimore, thank you for waiting. Tom, Republican. I'm pronounced Thom. Thom. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Just you know, watching the program today, getting riled up, I sort of had a eureka moment. This entire country is uncircumcised. Let's go right on to Weirton, West Virginia. Marianne. Willing to come back and fight fellow citizens and kill fellow citizens. Shazad, good example of that in Times Square. First call for Juan Zarate comes from Sacramento, California. Go ahead, Craig, on our Republican line. Hi. Well, thank you, C-SPAN, and hello, Mark. And, I mean, my main question throughout all of this is um, what's going to happen in the blogosphere as a result of this? You know, there's a lot of democratization or as... Um, I call it democratization um, going on, you know, all around the world. And, I mean, how do you think it's going to be influenced by this latest uh, situation? Well, speak about the Internet when it comes to yeah. terrorism. A couple more calls. Normal, Michigan. Uh, Reagan on our Democrats line. Go ahead. Hi, Pedro. Uh, thanks. And just on a side note, an old college buddy of yours says hello, my coworker. Um, but anyway... On to the topic. Um, just tell you the truth, um, I don't think we've been bipartisan enough today. I think the main issue is um, that people are wasting water. I mean, they're not there's fluoride in it. People are wasting it. You know, I came across an article on the cover of Tiger Beat the other week. Obama sings, you know, 12 songs in the shower. And it's Topeka, Kansas. Because it makes them unable to respond to circumstances as they change. Quite Michigan. Jim, on our Republican line, please go ahead with your question or comment. Yeah, you know, uh, thank you, C-SPAN. And Peter, uh, you mentioned something about uh, sharing the burden. And I just want to say, you know, I go home every night, turn on the news, see these congressmen and women getting out of their limousines with their law degrees. But, you know, for me, you know, on Main Street, I'm, uh, I'm still getting a $9 haircut. And, uh, you know, I drive a pretty nice van. And for that, I'm fortunate. But, what I hate is that I'm becoming the one with the draconian policies. I'm becoming the vilified. I, you know, I manage a Quiznos, and uh, these punk kids come in, and uh, you know, they expect a free bag of chips, as our deal used to be. But you know, times have changed, and I got to say, you want those Doritos? Well, cool fucking ranch kid. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. First phone call for you comes from Jim. He's a Republican in Tacoma, Washington. Hello. Thank you. Now listen, I just want to step outside the courtroom for a second and discuss the current technological landscape in a slightly different light. Um, these detriments um, and what the government's doing with the technological landscape is certainly bad, but I want to argue here that the benefits outweigh the costs in this current landscape. First of all, there's just the convenience factor alone. I mean, you want an up-to-date market report, keep tabs on stocks during the day, sign up for PayPal. You want the Guinness Book of World Records for biggest beach party? Ask Jeeves. And that's but, just convenience alone. I think uh, this Jim, is also a time when there's a private solution to a lot of the privacy concerns that you bring up, Aaron. I think this is a really disruptive new bunch we have out in Silicon Valley. I mean, did you know that Facebook was developed in a dorm room by two naked chicks? All right. Clarence, an independent in uh, Washington. Go ahead. Here in the Washington, D.C. area, you can read more in the New York Times as well and a front page story in the Washington Post. Rob is joining us from Brooklyn, New York, Republican line. Good morning. Second Amendment versus local laws. What's your take? You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I read the New York Times. And to tell you the truth, Ani, you look pretty nervous. And I just want to know at this point, what's your stand on the movie Cool? Jacob is joining us uh, up early in Alaska.